We all need to open our love letter, and we need to read it, even if it is by candlelight. We all need a little light in our soul for the end time. Let's grab our basic instructions before leaving earth. And let's go to Isaiah 66. Thus saith the Lord, the heavens is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build for me, and where is the place of my rest? Well, let's go over here to 1 Kings 8 and 27. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heavens and the heavens of heavens cannot contain thee, how much less this house that I have built. Now let's just look at this. The earth cannot contain God at all. I mean, he is too big, and people like to put him in a box. So we need to take him out of the box, and we need to put him in our hearts. So let's go to 1 Corinthians and we want 6, 19 through 20. What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is God's. So your body and belongs to God. So let's go on down to 2, Isaiah 2. For all these things hath my hands made, and all these things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. Well, let's look at it in the concordance. And it is the number of the strongs is uh, 5223. And it says, smitten, maimed, or dejected, contrite, lame. Now, we, let's look at what the way most people are now. We are at a lame spirit because, you know, of all the stuff that is going on in the world. We, ha we don't have what we would call true freedom. So let's go on to Isaiah 3. He that killeth an ox as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut up off a dog's neck. He that offendeth an oblation as if he offered a swine blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, he hath chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abomination. Four. I also will choose their delusions, and I will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. And when I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes. That choose that in which I delighted not. So God's given people a strong delusion. Uh, think about snake. Okay? So... We know that we're going to have strong delusions. So let me go get that, that Bible verse. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for all this caused God to send them strong delusion that they should do, believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, here we are, we are at a time when strong delusions is always coming at us. They're saying that our minds are like the red pill and the blue pill, like um, Democrat and Repub Republican. <laughs> I'll get it out there in a minute. So let's go to Hebrews, and we want 10. Let's see, Hebrews... Uh, uh oh, I have lost my Hebrews. There it is, and we want ten. 
Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. These people are going to fall in God's hands. So let's go back to Isaiah, and we want five. Hear the word of the Lord. Ye that tremble at his word, your brethren that hateth you, and cast you out of my name, for my name's sake, saith, and the Lord be glorified. But he shall appear to joy, and they shall be ashamed. They try to give us houses and stuff like that and all. To, and we think that the worldly things are joy. But the worldly things are nothing but the, just false hope. That's all it is. So, let's go to Joshua 24. Joshua 24. And we want verse 15. But if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whom land you dwell. But as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. So you either have a choice. You've got, from the looks of it, you've got three different types of gods here. You know, you have the real creator, you have the one that was on the other side of the flood, or of the land, which is earthly, which is the Amorites. Okay, so we have three different separation of gods there. So now let's go on down to verse 6. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. So let's go to Romans, and we want to go to chapter 12. Romans 12, and we want verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give peace to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, and I will pay, saith the Lord. This fight don't belong to you or me. It belongs to God, and we ought to let God handle it. Now, God's mercy endures forever. So let's go on to verse 7. Before she travels, before she brought forth, before their pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Now, Petra, I believe they're going to, that the, the Israelites are going to run to Petra. And... Um, and in Petra, and all, people are putting food there, and Bibles there, and stuff like that, for the people there. I, I thought it was awesome when I seen that. Let's go on down to 8. Who have heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travelleth, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth, and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth, and shut the womb, saith thy, thy God? Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck. And be satisfied, and with the breast of her con 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 constellation, that ye may milk out, and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her side and be bundled upon her knee. Well, let's just take us a look, and we want to look at Revelations. And Revelations 12. And we want to look at 1 through... Oh, let's go down to, to 6. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon 
her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried trial in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, the great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and they cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was called up unto God, and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Well, this right here is really the heavy tribulation here. A thousand two hundred and threescore days. We can go in Daniel and take a look at that. But I think it's Petra. So let's just take us a look also at the... At Luke. So let's go to Luke. Uh, I'm going there. And we want chapter 21. Luke 21. And we want to look at verse 22. 22. Okay. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe to them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon the people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, till the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the suns, and the moons, and the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea, and the waters roaring, men's heart failing them for fear, and for looking after these things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So everything is being shaken as we know it now. So now let's go on to verse, uh, we want verse 13. As one whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you, and ye shall comfort in Jerusalem. So, let's go ahead and read 14. And when you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like a herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his servant, and his indignation towards his enemy. He's going to make, separate everybody, and... Let's go to Malachi chapter 2. Okay. Malachi. Takes me a minute to find it. Zachariah. I think I went to Malachi. Okay. Uh, it's Micah, not Malachi. All righty. Uh -huh, right there it is. We want chapter 2, and we want 9 through 13. The woman of my people have ye cast out from their pleasant houses, from their children have ye taken away my glory forever. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore delusions. I meant destruction. If a man walketh in the spirit and falsehood do, do, do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of the, of the vine and of strong drinks, you shall even be the prophet of his people. I surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the raiment of Israel, and I will put them together as the sheep of Boaz. As the flock in the midst of their fold, 
and they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. So, God is going to put them all together, and they're going to be happy out there where they are. So let's go on to 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flame of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So let's just go to Jeremiah 30, and we want verse 11. Okay, Jeremiah 30 and 11. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure, and I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. So God's going to punish them. <clears throat> he st his mercy endures. He's going to correct them. So let's go on to 17. And they shall sanctify themselves and purify themselves, the garden behind one tree, in the midst eating swine's flesh, and the abominations and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Um, for I know thy works and their thoughts, and shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and thou shalt come and see my glory. Let's go to Revelations, and we want one, and we want look at four through six. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you in peace from him which is and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of of the kings of the earth, and to them that love us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and princes unto God and his Father, to be glory to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. So we're looking at God, Jesus Christ. Okay? So let's go on down to nineteen. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escaped of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Pell, and Lud, and draw the bow, to Tubal, and to Javan, and to the isles afar off, that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory, and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they shall bring all their brethren, for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations upon horses and in chariots, chariots and letters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain Jerusalem, saith the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an offering to a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. So let's go to, um, now let's keep on going because I haven't got down to that one yet. Okay. And I will also take of them for the priest, for the Levite, saith the Lord. Okay. Now, um, here we go into what the new heavens and all. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. God knew you before you were on this earth, and he's going to know you afterwards. So he knows you throughout the whole thing, before, during, and after. God knows who you are. All right? And, I mean, we can go right here to Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. You see? Right here, right beside it, it shows us. All right, let's go to 23 in Isaiah. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that has trespassed against me. For their worm shall not die, 
neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be a hoarding to all flesh. We're going to be able to see all that. So let's go and let's look at Zechariah. <coughs> okay, um, Zechariah 14. Well, I think I turned way too many pages. And we want 16. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all nations which come against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. So they are made to keep the feast of the tabernacle. They are made to worship the creator God. So I, I see it as if you're not going to serve him now, He's going to make sure you serve him and get to know him. Because his mercy endures forever. So let's just look at that. Let's go to Psalms. And we want 107. And we'll start with one. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good and his mercy endures forever. Let the raiment of the Lord say, say so. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gather them out of the lands from the east, and from the west, and from the north, and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a sultry way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their souls fainted in them. So, the, the people that God loves, he's going to take care of. And the people that he doesn't. They are looking in the desert for something to eat on, like God's word, and they can't find it, and they're not going to find it because they want. They lust after what the world has to offer, and not what the Creator has to offer. So, I hope you enjoy, and I hope this helped y'all out. And thanks for watching. Mm, bye bye.